All right. Let's get rolling, Gemini. Sun, moon, and rising signs. See what we have for you. Shuffle one more time. I hope you are all doing amazing. Just a little reminder, this is a general reading as such. Not everything will resonate with you. Take that which does, sweet boy, that which does not. And don't try to force your personal life to match the reading. All right, let's see what we've got, Gemini. It's gonna be doing a nine card spread for those of you that are new to my readings. The left row is past, really any time before this reading. Middle row is current, also moving slightly into the future and slightly into the past. And row is in the future. I read down, I read across, I read in a diamond, and I read in an X, but I don't always tell you where I'm reading. Okay, let me make sure our camera is good, adjusted properly, and let's get rolling. Ooh, we start out with this difficult energy. So this is surrounding your entire reading, a sense of indecision, Gemini. Not really knowing what to do, kind of analyzing the situation, trying to figure out what your next move is, trying to figure out, you know, if you should step forward in some area, but feeling very vulnerable. It appears to be surrounding some sort of offer. Now, the Four of Cups, we typically look at it from the standpoint of love. However, um, here on YouTube, I'm no longer focusing just on love. I'm focusing on whatever the energy brings us. So here we have um, this Four of Cups. This could be a love offer that's been brought to you or somebody could have expressed how they're feeling. Uh, additionally, this could be a job offer that you've received, something that has, could, has the potential to make you very happy, but you're just not really too sure what to do about it with this Two of Swords here. Now, in the past, we have the Ace of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Six of Cups. So a new opportunity may have presented itself previously. This is the same opportunity, I believe, here with this, with the Four of Cups. Some sort of opportunity, something you were very excited about in the past. Um, however, it appears that the energy that I'm getting is that this particular opportunity moves you forward into the future, Gemini, but you have a focus on the past. With the Three of Wands here, he's looking backward. The Six of Cups is nostalgic, looking back towards the past. It's almost as if this offer that came in, although it was grand, although it was great, and it has the potential to help you achieve your wishes, your dreams, your desires, you're still focused on something from, from the past. It could be a past job, could be a past relationship. There's an attachment towards something in the past that's preventing you from moving forward. Now, before you all go start, you know, commenting down below, I don't want no past person. This does not have to be romantic. And if that's the case, this aspect is not you. So just throw it away. Ten of Wands, burdens. You're trying to move away from this past energy here with the Six of Cups, the Six of Swords. Trying to move away from the past energy so that you can figure out what to do about this opportunity. Um, I just see you really stuck, you know, not knowing. And that's because you're struggling to make that move away from this past energy so that you can, you can pursue this forward movement, this new opportunity. This particular situation has the potential to remove all the burdens that you've been carrying. 
So it could be financial in nature or it could be love in nature, but it helps you to release the burdens. It has that potential. But it requires you to let go of this past situation in order to move forward. To move away from this energy of focusing on the past, focusing on what you don't have, focusing on what you may have lost. We have the Hanged Man, the King of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Yeah, okay. All right, my dears. So I do see somebody is leaving a love situation or leaving something that's going to cause a sense of heartbreak. You are moving away from it. You are moving away from this energy of the past that's holding you kind of captive in your life, keeping you stuck keeping you from being able to move forward. You are releasing that. And it is going to be a struggle for you, Gemini. You are going to release it. And then we have you gaining your stability. So if this is a job, we see you being successful in that job. If this was some you know, new move or something of that nature, we see the success that's occurring from this movement. If this is with regards to a relationship, we see the stability we see the, the loyalty, the strength that is occurring. My apologies, Gemini. I just got a phone call. I had forgot to put Do Not Disturb on. So it looks like this opportunity that you're very on the fence about and just completely unclear about what you wanted to do, you will come to a point where you are able to gain a different perspective on the opportunity. I feel like you're going to be accepting it. Whatever area of your life this appears to be in, it does appear that you are going to be accepting it, releasing this thing from the past that you're holding on to so tightly, which is going to provide you with that sense of stability. There is going to be heartbreak here. That is going to be a struggle, but I feel you're going to overcome it because this opportunity is so good that you're going to be able to move forward. So let's see what else do I see here, Gemini. That's about it. Let me let me take some oracle cards for you. And we will decide what we are going to look at in the extended. Truth be told, I feel like that's, you know, the, the thoughts and the things that you're telling yourself. One more, please, for Gemini. Leg up and observer. All right, let's get your romance angels and then we'll dig a little bit deeper. Calling in your soulmate. All right, so let's address uh, the love portion, then we'll address you in general. So from, from a love perspective, there is somebody, those of you that are dealing with love situations, Gemini, there's somebody from your past, somebody that you have a very strong attachment to, and you're struggling to let go of that attachment. Um, I do see that you are going to be able to release that attachment and you're going to be focusing on bringing in somebody who's right for you. You may be praying about it. You may be, you know, working on law of attraction stuff. You may be visualizing, but you're moving in a better direction where you're opening, your, opening yourself up to allow love to come into your life. Releasing the heartbreak of the past person in order to make room for the new. For those of you that are dealing with a job situation, job situation, you know, I feel that you know, this opportunity may be causing a sense of, of you needing to, to move or something of that nature, something that's going to take you away from, from a particular person, situation, or circumstance that you're very tied to. I do see you will be successful with that, which is wonderful, but it is going to be a little bit difficult. Now, you did receive truth be told. In this particular card, I'm focused on the fact that a window is opening. An opportunity has presented itself to you, Gemini. 
an opportunity for you to open up your heart, open up your mind, and accept this wonderful offer that's been brought to you. There, um, you know, needs to be a lot of positive self-talk regarding the situation, and you really need to be honest with yourself. Is this something that you really want, or is this not? Do you really need to hold on to this past situation, or can you let it go? Time for some honest self-talk. With observer, I feel like you're looking for signs, some sort of direction as to you know what you need to do because this is so overwhelming. And a leg up tells me that you have family and friends who are available to help you through, to help you to figure this out, to help you to, to by listening to what you have to say and, and helping you talk through the situation. So that's positive as well. So Gemini, in the extended, we already know that your offer is being delayed as a result of something from the past. Um, let's take a look at the offer from two perspectives. Let's look at it from a relationship perspective, and let's also look at it from a career perspective. Let's see what this offer is, and let's see what the potential outcome is for that offer. Um, also gonna look at, you know, some things that can help you to overcome this energy of heartbreak as well. So we'll take a look at that also. And that'll be about it. So Gemini, I'll see you over on Vimeo.